get laid the fuck down. And that's when you know, Roly, you know, if you, if you in a bit room full of bad bitches and you like every bitch can get it, bitch, what? Bitch, let me move my ear back. Bitch, what? Girl, fuck you talking about? Who you talking about? Everybody can get it, bitch. Everybody who? So y'all know, bitch, 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 Roly, she. Uh huh, bitch, try again. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Uh, y'all know what the fuck time it is. Yeah, I'm still cute as fuck just in case any bitch was wondering. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been a little minute, but I'm still cute as fuck just in case any bitch was wondering. What's going on, St. Gang Sis? I'm back in the motherfucking video, bitch. Let me get my ear. As y'all see from the motherfucking title, baby, Baddies West has officially kicked the fuck off, and I already know y'all wanted these video reviews and these motherfucking episode reviews. So, yes, I am back again with my daily. I will be reviewing every single episode this season. I know y'all been saying, bitch, we've been missing these fucking videos, and I know that I built this motherfucking platform for my bitches that's on here, but if you're not following me on this, I need y'all to do me a big favor right now and go off this video, go to your Instagram, and type in J-A-Y, the letter N, Sanity, because if y'all have not noticed below, I rebranded my entire channel, my entire everything, like, this wasn't just a off, what's gone off, like, not working, like, I have a new channel banner, have a new icon, my Instagram is different, like, my link tree is different, my music is, everything is is now not J underscore insanity, but it's J A Y the letter N sanity. It's the same, you know, same bitch, same J insanity bitch. Spelt it a little better so people can find me a little quicker. So like, if y'all wanna share me to your friends, you know, you could just search, you know, search J insanity, J A Y insanity instead of like J underscore N. Like it's just it's easier and quicker. You know, I'm moving up in the world if y'all not following me on other social medias. Like, my music is trending. I opened up for Kashawn Rock this year. Like, my first single drop ever is literally, like, global right now. Like, global right now. Damn, bitch, you bad didn't merch it. Oh, hold on. Way back, bitch, you bad didn't merch it. If y'all know me, y'all real Insane Gang fans, y'all know about my other things that I have going on. So, this should be nothing but the news to you if you are definitely up and, you know, up to date with everything. But if you're not up to date with everything, I need y'all to go ahead and go to the link below and go click on my Instagram. Follow that. Go listen to the motherfucking bops that I'm putting out because that girl is booked every weekend, every function. I'm in the hood. I'm in Boys Town. I'm with the gays. I'm with the straights. I'm with the transsexuals. I'm with everybody, girl. I just spread love and positivity and I always give it back with a little bit of coin. I love that coin. So if y'all want me to come to your birthday party, get that shit lit. Have my coin ready. Cause I love that coin. That motherfucking coin. Bad D's West. Bad D's West. Uh -uh. Bad D's West. Uh -uh. But you bet they merch it. Uh -uh. So Bad D's West is officially upon us with their first motherfucking episode. All my girls is giving. They start off the episode with um Natalie and these two old ass ladies. I mean. Uh, they probably they her aunties or their grandma or something or whatever, but I can tell because they all got the same wrinkle pattern. So I'm guessing they they like her relatives or something because I can see that like Natalie's getting, you know, older in her face and you know that might come from the Caucasian side of her family. So she's getting more wrinkles, she's getting more, you know, of those cracks and those crevices in her shit. So I'm guessing these old people with these cracks and crevices are her like, you know, relatives. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I'm just that was just a you know, I wasn't really paying attention to this part. Loki kinda like spread through cause everybody been knowing who the girls is. Everybody know who the fuck on the motherfucking show. We don't need her to redo. We know stunna put bitches in dog cages. We know a big deep voice ass is that a transgender or not ass bitch. We know motherfucking cat on this bitch, a OG from Motherfucking show, we know low on this bitch. OG from the motherfucking show, we know we're shining this bitch, acting crazy, doing doing shit, you know, acting sweaty. You know, you know, I, I, we know the girls, so we don't need the, the reintroduction, baby. We've been waiting on this, all right? So all of that was a waste of fucking time. Yeah, I know it was. To the next thing, we got the motherfucking, um, I got all my shit right down. Y'all know I got my notes. Y'all know I don't do my reviews without my motherfucking notes, all right? So then now we got the intro with all the girls, like the one that they, like, fought. At, but they showed like the actual, you know, show intro. It was really fucking cute. Like everybody looked good. Everybody had their own personal look. I wouldn't say really nobody looked a mess. Like everybody outfit was really on point. Like ain't nobody really give you no do no fool. Nobody really do no fools. They go to the intro shoot and then they come talk about how um you know everybody got to do it in separate places. And Tommy talking about how like they want her to do something about a shoot because her look was a little different from everybody else's. And she had this big beautiful gown on like they already stepped like they already did their shit and i was really proud of them because like girl usually you know it's always that one or two bitch i said that bitch name so i said what is that bitch name <laughs> what's that bitch name um stop what is the girl everybody don't like what's the girl name scotty bow 
Not off a guy name. That was no shade, y'all. I promise y'all did not mean to forget that bitch name. But Scotty girl, I was surprised she looked cute on her little intro, like her little um corset. Like it wasn't like the cutest, but it looked better than the regular shit she had. Like her hair always gonna look a fool. I just always expect that for her. Like I know her hair gonna look a mess. But all uh, her outfit, it was cute. Promo shoot, dating promo shoot or whatever. Everybody, you know, kicking and having a good time, whatever. It's all cute or whatever. But y'all hear my girl. Hey! My fucking big stunner, stop playing. I know a lot of people probably don't like stunner, but y'all know I'm a messy ass bitch. And if a bitch ever do a drink on me, baby, it's on site. Like, y'all know I'm Jay Insanity. Like, it's on site. Like, all that extra, like, oh, we, we all doing something, being professional. Bitch, you do a drink on me. So I'm gonna bang you when I see you. And when she saw her, she she did her big one. I mean, I'm not mad at her. I mean, I feel like, yeah, it could have been like, wait, this is something so I'm pretty sure everybody get that shoe. But girl, that's how she felt. I can't get mad at the next bitch for running up on a bitch because that's how she felt. I, the drink didn't get through on me. So I can't be like, oh, you should have waited. Because bitch, what, what the fuck? She ain't throwing no drink on me. So I can't tell the next bitch, oh, you should have waited when the drink didn't get on me. It's the only bitch that could, that could say how they felt at the time was the bitch who was during the situation. And I ain't gonna lie. When you look back at the footage, it was a Suki and Stunner type of situation. They was having a one on one conversation, and Tommy did come and throw that drink on her when it had nothing to do with her. Like, she all behind the motherfucking security and everything, and you sneak behind the security and throw a drink on her. Like, I'm, I don't blame her. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't blame her. Like, she, she did her big one. No shade. She, she said, Splash, pow! She said, Splash, pow! Got that bitch on the motherfucking ground, started dragging her ass. Mop that bitch up with her gown, bitch. And then Tommy got up, you know, doing her Tommy shit, popping her shit. She took her panties off. So now y'all, y'all been stiff these motherfuckers drawers, telling them motherfuckers here, like, you ain't scaring me, bitch. Like, all that shit you doing, that shit ain't scaring me. So, you know, Tommy was heated because she got snuck, but at the same time, girl, like, you can't be throwing no drinks on people from behind if they ain't not finna do nothing to you. Like, I understood Stunner 100% on that because I don't go fuck where we at, bitch. Well, I don't go fuck where we at, you bitch. You, you wanna fucking smoke with me and I didn't do nothing to you, so it's up. Like, I don't do nothing to nobody for people to really like. I don't have no interviews. In Chicago, enemies in Chicago, and people that want to fight, fight me or something like that. So if I'm at an event and I'm and I'm talking to somebody one on one about some shit that we, you know, got personally, and a random ass bitch throw a drink on me, and I see that bitch walking outside, bitch, I'm gonna run up on that hoe. What the fuck? That's just how this shit gonna go. Like, I don't understand why everybody was like, oh, stun, stun, stun to do too much, stun to do too much, bitch. She didn't do too much. No, hey, she did her big one. She on fucking a, a show about fighting, bitch, and she fought a bitch for throwing a drink on her. Huh? What? Stop playing with Stunner, for real. Now, um, you know, Tommy went crazy. She, she tell, um, fucking Razor, like, this is what I was telling you about, like, bitch, not gonna respect you on the show. She said, bitch, I still stand on what I said. Ain't no bitch gonna disrespect me on the show, like I said. <laughs> Period. She said, no, bitch, you got ran up on ho. Don't put me in the same boat as you think. They ran up on you. Bitch, they not gonna run up on me. It's, I love Razor. No say as of right now, Razor is my number one favorite. Ain't gonna hold you. That bitch give me, like, boss bitch vibes. Like, she give me, like, bitch, who they checking? Like, they not gonna check me. Like, she's still holding that same energy. Like, as of right now, No Shade is giving Razor. No Shade. Razor is really, like, the prettiest bitch on the show. And, like, I like how she, like, talk. Like, I really, I like, I don't feel like she could fight for real, though. I feel like she got a lot of mouth. But I don't really feel like she a bitch that, like, was fighting like that back in the day. Because them bitches, they ain't never had to fight. They probably had, like, bitches to fight for them. No Shade. So, um, now they get the next day or whatever, you know, after the shoot and shit, um, they get on the bus, uh, get off, get on the bus and shit after the fucking flight. So now everybody mad because Krishan not there and their Thunder not there, so now they wait on them. And I guess, like, they mad because they keep having to wait on bitches, which I don't understand because, like, it's a, it's a, I've done, like, promo shit for, for shit when I've been in shows and stuff like that, and we all have to, like, take our pictures, like, one by one. And even if somebody was late, that's their problem. Like, if you're late, they have to, like, do the same thing that Jay did with you with them so it's not like it's, it's gonna hurt you or anything everybody getting ready everybody doing shit like it's not like a oh you you holding us up like no once your promo shit is done you could leave like you don't gotta stay there and kick it like you that's your choice so if she did her promo shit and hit it or came late and hit it like i don't understand why low was so pressed about it and it's low-key giving persuasion and that's how i see why she Clink her ass up just like persuasion because girl why the fuck you so worried about somebody not being at a motherfucker shoot on time when it's a promo shoot now i said if it was like a a shoot for y'all like to do the group shoot like when they was doing the group shoot i understand because everybody got to be in the same picture but this was y'all y'all solo intro to the show so that means everybody don't need to be in the shot so even if somebody's late you just you just doing too much you know shade natty on the bus or whatever lauren pop her shit about how she had to keep waiting on bitches and she over it and then that's when razor popping her shit a little bit but i feel like razor was more of my attitude about it. like she really didn't care about it like she was just like, you know, she didn't come, she didn't come when she ran, like, it is what it is, but, but Lauren was like, no, that bitch need to be on time, the shit, we all coming off work, da 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 da, da. Biggie was even, like, trying to vouch, like, oh, 
you know, she she does a lot of work. She probably was coming out of work, you know, you know, not being a new shape. That bitch like she was drunk. Like she just came from waking up fucked up hungover, no shade. She like she came from no damn work. That bitch looked sleepy. No shade. She like she just got up out the bed. She took a nap. Okay? So now it's the next thing with um Kat and Biggie on the fucking bus talking about the whole promoter situation. So I'm saying, um, oh, Kat says she throw parties, and then Biggie like, oh, you throw parties, bitch? I throw parties, too. Like, I'm an event coordinator. I'm not a promoter, but I'm an event coordinator. She's like, no, I don't throw parties. And then Biggie like, oh, well, well, what do you do then? Because you just said I threw parties. That's why I asked. She's like, no, you throw parties. I do it. Like, I don't know what Kat was low-key giving me old bitch vibes right there. I ain't gonna hold you. Her age really showed in that, in that clip, because it was just like, you literally just said I throw parties. And then when she said, okay, you throw parties. I, I, I'm an event coordinator. Like what party? Like trying to network. You trying to fight? Like you trying to get? You trying to get smart? It ain't no point to get smart, girl. She just asked you a simple fucking question. Calm the fuck down. Damn, cat. I love you, but shit, girl. It was. It wasn't that deep. No shit. It wasn't that deep. I'm standing on the bus now and shit. And now um, Lauren asked something about the whole situation, saying like, you know, why she run up on um, Tommy, and she tell her like, oh, bitch, at the at the fucking. The audition, she threw a drink on me and shit, and then that's when Biggie put her, her two cents in. No shade, Biggie's a little irritating at this point. She like, oh, but this everybody knows the time and the place, and something like, I, I'm sorry, I love Stunner. Like she really just be going to one to a death. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. I'm not even fucking talking to you. Stop talking. Everybody talking to talk, you talk. And then her voice so small when she yell, it be so funny because you you can tell that she trying to yell real bad, but her voice so little so she can't really get it out. So that's why she get mad and run up. And when I say she threw that fucking bottle at that bitch, like if that bitch did not dodge that bottle, her shit would have been like, Stunna is really giving like she one of them girls that really get down right there because if that bottle would hit her head, her shit would have been bust open and leaking like her shit would have been fucked up. So after she throw the bottle or whatever, now they, they argue still back and forth. I'm stunning, stunning, shut the fuck up, whatever. And then stunning while she get mad. She like, because everybody can get laid the fuck down. And that's when, you know, Roly, you know, if you, if you in a bit room full of bad bitches, you like every bitch can get it. Bitch, what? Bitch, let me move my ear back. Bitch, what? Girl, fuck you talking about? Who you talking about? Everybody can get it, bitch. Everybody who? So y'all know bitch, 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 Roly, she, bitch, who? Who? Who is everybody, bitch? You better think who you talking to. And then something like, really don't start with me. She like, bitch, don't start with me, bitch. You talking about everybody in mama, bitch. Who the fuck is everybody? So then now, her and Rolly going back and forth. And Rolly somehow when she got to get off the bus, she going to be stunned the ass. Da, 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 da. Next thing you know, Splash Bow. <laughs> we going to call her Thunder Splash Bow from that on, girl. We going to call her Splash Bow. Ain't no more Thunder for the whole review. We going to call her ass Splash Bow because she is Splash Bow when bitches don't say. She didn't hit her. But that bitch love throwing a drink in a bitch face, and I need to like, I understand where she coming from because I've never threw a drink in a bitch face, but it looks pretty fucking fun. It looks pretty fucking fun. So, at that point, they get to tussling and shit, and then the episode ends, so that's just that on motherfucking that. So, I'm ready for the next episode. Y'all got episode one? I did it on time. I did it on time. So, episode two, bitch, I'm gonna try to be on the same motherfucking time. Period. That's the motherfucking video. I hope I was enjoyed it, y'all. Follow me on social media. It's my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat. Want me just doing my biggest one. Don't forget, it's J-A-Y, letter insanity, because my baby rebranded. If y'all want more fucking videos, make sure something in the like button, and let me know in the comments, who is y'all favorite baddie? Who is your favorite baddie as of right now? Who is your least favorite baddie? Just let me know in the comments. That's a motherfucking video. And same gang. Since we out. Ah!